my loves, welcome back to Ignite Fitness. Hope you're all feeling amazing and ready to tackle today's practice. I just have a really nice creative flow for you today. It's gonna feel really great on the body and hopefully serve you well, taking you into your day, feeling relaxed and refreshed and flooded with oxygen and good endorphins and all those nice feelings. So make sure you're wearing something comfortable. Join me on the mat, water on hand. That's all we need for today. We're gonna to begin a child's pose today. So turning on our mat to a side, sinking our bum towards our heels, keeping those knees just slightly separated. We're gonna walk our hands forward into our first child's pose of the practice, bringing our forehead to the mat. If you need to grab a yoga block or a bolster just for something for a little extra support, you can. And you can take the block right underneath your forehead and place the forehead on the block for a little extra support if you can't come all the way down to the mat. Breathe in here, lengthen through those lat muscles, walking those fingertips as far away from the body as possible. Being gentle on yourself, just honoring yourself in this moment. Nice and easy. walk our hands back in come and meet me in easy seat guys we're going to practice our ujjayi breath to begin our practice so taking those legs out just letting them fall to the side nice and easy you can take your hands to your knees or you can bring them up to heart center ujjayi breath is a cooling breath coming in through the nose and out through the nose join me now nice deep inhales and even exhales option to close your eyes or Feel more comfortable, you can leave them open. One more full inhale, exhale. Beautiful. Slowly flip those eyes open, release the hands down. We're going to meet in cat cow. Working those undulations of the spine, warming it up, drawing that belly up and in, arching them, rounding that back. Nice. Now you can even wiggle those hips, just creating a little extra space as we move through cat. And on our exhale, Taking that gaze all the way up towards the sky, arching the spine, opening up through the hips for cow. Find a little breath flow. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. Beautiful inhale up. And exhale, cow, come through neutral spine. Just to work on mobility a little bit, we're just gonna take the body and just move it nice easy circles just opening everything up one way and when I say switch we'll move in the opposite direction just working through that wrist mobility through the hips got those knees nice and wide beautiful we'll take it in the other direction making sure that we're still utilizing that breath <sighs> guys come back through center tuck those toes let's lift those hips all the way towards the sky meeting in our first down dog hunting through all ten fingers all ten toes guys we're gonna walk the dog just alternating the heels up and down creating a little space warming up those legs beautiful we'll just 
Let's take a second, find some stillness here, piking those hips up, drawing the belly button toward the spine, drawing the heart towards the upper thigh. Beautiful. And on your next inhale, we're going to look between the hands, hop or step the feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Drawing the hands through heart center, meeting in mountain. Drawing the belly in, taking a second to find this nice, strong mountain pose. Shining that heart out, open. You can open the palms towards the front of the room. <clears throat> Beautiful. Next inhale, let's sweep the arms all the way up towards the sky, drawing the hands through heart center as we fold it forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold it down, plant those palms. Hop or step the feet back, exhaling, bending the elbows, pressing through chaturanga. And we're gonna tuck those toes, spike those hips back for a downward facing dog. Beautiful, sun salutation A. Take your moment of stillness and down dog. Breathing deeply into this. Down dog is your home. We come back to this pose multiple times through our practices. Gotta find love for this pose, for being in this position, pressing that chest forward. On your next inhale, look between the hands, hop or step the feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up towards the sky. Inhale, bring them through heart center, releasing them to your side. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, take it down, plant those palms, hop or step the feet back into high plank, bending to those elbows. Let's exhale through chaturanga, driving that body up, upward dog, tucking the toes, Pressing backwards, down dog. Beautiful. Trying to get the heels a little closer to the mat each time we move through the sun salutation. On your next exhale, look between the hands, hop or step the feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale through heart center. Release the palms down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold it down. Palms to the mat. Option to hop or step it back into our high plank. Bending through those elbows, moving through chaturanga. Pressing those hips forward, upward facing dog. Thighs are up off the mat. Roll through those toes, tuck it back. Downward facing dog. <sighs> Drawing the belly button up and towards the spine. Knit those ribs, beautiful. Inhale, look between the hands. Hop or step the feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, sweep those arms up overhead. Exhale, hands through heart center. Releasing them by your sides. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, half. Exhale, fold it forward. Clap those palms. Hop or step the feet back. Exhaling through chaturanga, bending those elbows, locking them into your sides, moving into upward facing dog. Tuck those toes, press it back, downward facing dog. Beautiful guys, you're doing amazing. It really heats up the body moving through the sun salutation. We're gonna do it one more time. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, look between the hands, hop or step the feet forward. Inhale, half lift. 
exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up all the way overhead. Exhale, draw the hands through heart center, releasing them to your sides. Beautiful. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant those palms. Hop or step the feet back. Last time, moving through Chaturanga. Lock those elbows into your side. Pressing through upward facing dog. Beautiful, sinking into these positions. A little deeper each time. Press back with your downward facing dog. Beautiful. Lovely guys, you're doing amazing. On your next inhale, let's sweep the right leg up and overhead. Find our nice three-legged dog. Here we're just gonna open up the hip. You don't have to bend the knee, you can if you'd like. Sink a little deeper into it. Opening up to that hip. Press back into that three-legged dog. We're gonna drive that knee all the way in between the palms of the hands. Plant that foot, moving up into crescent lunge. Beautiful. Sinking nice and low in that front leg, 90 degree angle. Beautiful, guys. <sighs> Breathing here, drawing that belly up and in. <sighs> Finding that breath control. From here, draw the hands through heart center. We're gonna step the back leg up and forward, coming into a standing leg raise. We're working that hip flexor muscle, drawing the belly in, taking a moment to practice that balance here. Deep breaths, finding that drishti, your focal point. From here, we're gonna shift the hips forward taking our body into our warrior three. So we're gonna take that leg all the way behind us, taking the arms forward. If this feels like too much for today, you can take your hands into prayer at heart center. You can do airplane arms, or you can come into our full warrior three. From here, we're gonna dive our hands all the way down to the mat, coming into our standing split. So wherever you feel comfortable, hands planted on the mat. If you feel comfortable, you wanna take the ankle with one hand or both hands, depending on where you are in your practice or your mobility today, wherever that may be. Beautiful, you're doing great. Beautiful. Slowly stepping that leg back nice and easy, dropping that knee. We're gonna come in to low lunge, shifting those hips forward. Beautiful, guys. Doing amazing. You can stay here or you can take the arms up overhead. Whatever feels good to you today. Dive those hands back down to the mat. Tuck the back toe, coming into runner's lunge. Just hanging out here for a second. You can take both hands to the inside of the leg. And we'll step it back into high plank. Shift those hips back into downward facing dog. Finding a moment of stillness here. towards the sky, three-legged dog. Slowly begin to open up that hip, taking it to wherever feels good to you. Keeping the shoulders parallel. Come back through three-legged dog. And we'll take that leg in between the palms, plant it center, coming up slowly for crescent lunge. Beautiful. Play around with this positioning. Sink nice and deep into that lunge. Find your 
your breath. Bring the hands back through heart center. We're gonna step it forward, finding the balance on that leg, coming into your standing leg raise. Beautiful. We'll slowly hinge at the hips, begin shifting into your warrior three, extending that leg out long. Finding your drishti, your focal point, something to fixate on, helping with the balance. Option to take your arms to heart center, airplane arms, or full warrior three. Nice long lines. Shifting the hands down to the mat, coming into our standing split. Taking the hands wherever it feels good to your balance, to your practice. Breathing into this deep, deep stretch. Remembering that any day or different stages in our practice. Beautiful. Stepping that leg all the way back Dropping that back knee for low lunge, shifting those hips forward, opening up through our hip flexor. Again, option to leave the arms down if that feels good, or you can take them up overhead. Make sure that back foot is released so the line is nice and long. Pressing those hips forward, keeping those inner thighs active and held together. palms, take that back leg up off the ground for a runner's lunge. Holding for just a moment. Step back with that foot into our high plank. Shift the hips back for downward facing dog. Beautiful guys. Doing amazing. Inhale, look between the hands, hop or step the feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold it forward. Option to bend your knees here. Just let the body hang, find a nice rounding of the spine. Here we're slowly gonna roll the body up. The chin being the last thing to come up. Beautiful, shake the body out. Take those feet together, so just heel toe them together. Nice and close, we're gonna sink into our chair pose. So taking the hands first to heart center in prayer, we sink the hips back. Sinking nice and deep to this narrow squat. Inhale, sweep the arms back. Exhale, take them up overhead. Dropping the shoulders away from the ears. See if you can sink a little lower. Let's draw those hands back through heart center. We're gonna come into a little chair twist. So taking the opposite elbow to the opposite knee, making this beautiful little twist through our spine. Beautiful, love it. Rotate other side. Keeping that heart open, pressing those palms together. Beautiful, come back through center. Find your chair. We'll dive those hands back down to the mat. Take those feet a little wider back for your forward fold. Inhale, half lift. 
Exhale, fold it down, plant those palms, hop or step the feet back. Exhaling through Chaturanga, upward dog. And press those hips back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. From here, let's inhale, sweep that right leg up and overhead. As we exhale, we're gonna draw it in between the hands, taking that back leg, rotating it open, and windmilling those arms into a beautiful, strong warrior two. Beautiful. Keeping those arms nice and strong and active, taking the gaze out over those front fingertips. Warrior two. Breathe into it, sink a little lower. Lovely guys. We're gonna straighten that front leg, shifting the body forward for triangle. Taking the hand wherever it can it will go. If you need to use your leg for support, up on some bolsters or blocks, sorry. And you can take the gaze back up toward the ceiling, following that, those fingertips. Both legs are straight, joints are soft. that knee we're going to come on back up through warrior two let's reverse our warrior taking that hand up overhead allowing that hand to walk back down the legs opening up through the heart shift it forward extended side angle taking the pinky towards the earth and again let's reverse our warrior Beautiful, keeping nice and low, 90 degree angle on that front leg. Open up that heart. Beautiful, coming back through warrior two. Last time here. And let's pivot towards that front foot, rotating the back heel, back to that runner's lunge, step it back through high plank and shift those hips back for downward facing dog. Beautiful guys, on the next inhale, let's sweep that left leg up toward the sky. Three-legged dog, and exhale, bring it through the chest, planting it forward. We're gonna rotate that back heel down and windmill those arms up for our warrior two. Nice, strong, active arms, gazing out over those fingertips, finding that rotation, keeping those hips parallel. Beautiful, guys, breathe into the sasana. Next, exhale, press that leg up and open, coming down for triangle pose, rotating that heart open and taking the gaze up towards the sky. Taking your hand to wherever it'll reach, at your ankle, at your shin, or all the way down to the mat. Bend that knee, press back up, warrior two. From here, we're going to reverse our warrior, taking that back hand, 
down the body, opening up the heart, staying nice and low in that front leg. Exhale, come through, extended side angle. Pinkies down. Inhale, sweep it all the way back, reversing your warrior. And we'll come back through. Last time, warrior two. Sinking nice and low in that front leg. Back leg remains straight and active. Beautiful. Let's take our hands all the way down to the mat. Planting that hand. Taking a step back, high plank. And shifting the hips back for downward facing dog. Beautiful, press the chest towards the upper thigh. And let's drop our knees towards the mat, sinking into our child's pose. Release the pressure up the spine. out either direction. We're going to tuck those knees in towards our chest and slowly roll them over to one side, finding that nice supine twist. Once you're here, you can take the gaze out over the opposite shoulder. Feeling that nice rotation through the spine, making sure both shoulder blades are planted into the mat. As always, if you want to take it a little deeper, you can take that top leg and wrap it around the bottom, getting a little deeper of a twist. We'll bring it all the way around to the other side, letting those knees fall open to begin with. And to loosen, you can take it a little deeper. towards our chest before moving into our last asana before savasana opening those knees up interlacing the fingers around the big toes let's open up our hips for happy baby let's relax here feel free to roll around and move those hips to wherever you feel that sweet spot in happy baby where we store stress, anxieties, fears. So as we loosen them up and we give our hips love, we can release that emotional hold on our hips, creating a really healthy, healthy system in our hips, healthy coping mechanisms for stress. Together, hug them one more time, rolling into a little ball. We'll release those legs, extend them out long for Shavasana. You can place your palms down on the mat, up onto your belly. Closing your eyes gently, allowing your body to sink into the mat. You did a beautiful practice today, you did an honor to your body. 
a moment to give yourself care and love. You did a good thing today. And I'm honored that you picked me to do it. I appreciate each and every one of you. Find those nice, steady, even breaths. Allowing everything to just sink in. Release the forehead. Resting wherever it feels most comfortable. Allowing the neck to just take a break. Carry you through it for a moment. Relax the shoulder. Drop the shoulder blades away from the ears. Let them sink low. Feel the oxygen coming. expanding, the belly rising and falling with each breath. Breathe deep into your pelvic floor. Deep into the sacral chakra. Always, if you need to stay in Savasana for longer, you are welcome to stay here as long as you need. For anyone else who's ready, walk those feet back into the above. We'll roll to our left side and slowly press our way up, taking your time to come back in through easy seat. Beautiful. Shake out the body, let everything fall loose. Wonderful guys, drawing the hands together in heart center. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice today. I hope it served you well. The light in me sees the light in you guys. Namaste, my loves. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you on the mat.